Hello guys. Today is work on the RV day. So my son William came over. He and Paul are outside and they are washing the RV. It's a lot of work to wash an RV. For those of you out there that do it all by yourself, respect. So I thought I would go outside and really I have the kind of sun that would spray me with water. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. Paul, where did you get that hose and stuff? A little pulled up bucket. I think I got that. They got that at Amazon. Telescoping. Wash. Brush, I guess. Get the water hose to it. All that comes from Amazon. Glass for hose. I got extra. I got a 25 foot, I got a 50 foot. The reason why I got a, two of them, so I have plenty to wash with. 25 foot I'll use also to flush them out the uh, tanks. So it works pretty good. I got quick disconnects on all of them, so an easy switch out wash brush and water nozzles and all that stuff. I got you on YouTube. <laughs> so another thing that I've been doing today to kind of clean up the RV, I don't know if you remember, but I recorded a video about craft items and how I had my craft items organized. Um, so let me show you. I have it organized in two different places because I had a lot of craft items and I'm trying to get it down to just one. So those three cabinets above the couch are where I have craft items. I have... It's not as neat as it once was because I've been going through things. I'm sorting it out to give to my daughter and my daughter-in-law and my daughter and my other daughter-in-law because they all like to craft and that's what that looks like. I have a lot of stuff. Let me show you my desk and I don't know if I want to show you my desk because it's a total mess, but I'm being real today. I am not um <laughs> I am not sugar coating or cherry coating or cleaning up at all for you today. Sorry about that, but this is just real. Here is my craft desk, and I think I'm gonna change that space. So let me show you what it looks like now. It's a mess because I'm sorting through stuff, but here you go. So right now, it's covered with essential oils, and I'm sorting through craft items and stickers. This shelf we had put above the desk for craft items. And there you go. I have essential oil stuff all over the bed because I'm sorting through it. But let me show you one more thing we got accomplished today on the RV that I'm super happy about. Okay, again, <laughs> no cleaning. This is for the moment video for you, okay? So here, take a look. Right here, we added a hand, a, an automatic soap dispenser for washing our hands. Um, and so you just open the top, refill it with um, soap, and you put your hand, just wave your hand underneath, and soap spits down into your hand. So that leaves the, the sink clear well except for my straightener that means that there's nothing that has to sit on this cabinet and again there's nothing that I have to break down and pack away when we're getting ready to move the trailer so that was really big I already had the dispensers up there but we just added that shelf because I just found I needed for my little face washes and things like that I still had clutter on the shelves and and we needed to um, address that and we did and I like it and we got this little shelf it's got the wash rag holder you can see with my little squeegee well, I'll show you. So this I have on a suction cup, the squeegee for the glass doors. I don't know if you guys, if, well, I'm sure so, a lot of you do, but um, have the glass doors in your shower. I 
hate the glass doors. The squeegee helps with all of the, the residue that will accumulate on the glass. We could take the glass out and just put a curtain, but there's a very short lip at the bottom. And I think if I were to try to put a, cow, uh, a shower curtain there, I would just have water all over the floor all the time because I don't have a big lip at the bottom where it meets the floor. So I'm sure Paul could custom do something. And if we keep this rig for a good length of time, then maybe we will and that'll be another project that we do. What else? I've been working on trying to catch up on videos. I'm still trying to catch up on videos from when I was sick for a month. Um, so I have two more to catch up on, then I'm up to date, and I'll do this one and start rolling them out uh, quicker once a week. So if you're subscribed to me and you're not seeing videos once a week, I apologize, but I am trying to catch up on my content. So anyway, let's go see what the guys are doing and the progress that they're making outside. What you doing? Give me some more new rags. Maybe when y'all are done, you can work on your truck, babe. <laughs> I can't wash it. Huh? I can't wash it. Oh. Want that her grandson to wash it. To give five dollars a piece. Oh, over at Chelsea's. <laughs> so this RP, RV park, it allows you to wash your RV here, um, but it doesn't allow you to wash your vehicles here. So that's what he was saying. We're gonna take it over to my daughter's house and pay our grandsons to wash Paul's truck. It's too big, we can't get it through the car wash, so I have to hand wash it. We don't really have the best water pressure, but it's getting the job done. artificial plants this is why <laughs> you never have to water them you don't gotta worry about taking them inside when the freeze they bloom all year round all you gotta do is rinse the dust off of them and you're good to go I 
love this window in the kitchen. Like you don't often get a big window like that in the kitchen and that's one of the reasons I love this rig. There were several reasons. One is because there was no island taking up floor space. Although, if you look at my kitchen, oh Lord, it's dirty. Hold on. So it has a bit of a, a wrap around giving me lots of space and lots of counter room, which is completely cluttered right now. But another reason that we loved this model is because of the big pantry, which I've shown you guys millions of times and it is packed. We've added shelves and all kind of little places to just put tons of stuff. Um, another reason that we loved this model of RV is because we have a coat closet. And another reason is because I could have these bookshelves that Paul made me and we have we do have little end tables on both sides of the bed, which you don't always get in an RV. And then another thing, which I've also showed you many times, is this, which is a laundry closet. And it has the side-by-side -side washer and dryer. And then of course my desk area. And a huge mess, <laughs> by the way huge mess oh and then one other thing that we loved about it is the towel closet I don't know I forget what you call it but anyway in the bathroom and hopefully it's not too bad but here you go and I love how that is not those narrow thin cabinets that you have to pull everything out to get to you act it's it's shallow but it's wide and so you can get to everything on the shelves I love that. And a lot of these features you just don't have um, in the newer RVs. And so it's why we chose this one. So a lot of you have probably already seen these, but you can get these maps that allow you to either put stickers on a state when you've been there um, or scratch it off, almost like a lottery ticket. You can scratch off and then there's like a watercolor underneath. And as you go through the states, you just scratch them off and then at the end you have this watercolor picture of the United States. So a lot of people put them in the house, but Paul opted to put them on the inside of the bay door just because we don't have a lot of wall space in the house. So it, it just, there was more room outside. So he made like a little back for it and then just put it on here. And we haven't really scratched anything off. We need to start scratching those, uh, the places that we have been off. We just haven't done it yet. Big job, huh, William? William my Huckleberry Finn if he could just live out in the wilderness 
and never see another human, he'd be happy if he had his bugs and his animals and his snakes. We call him the snake whisperer because we could be somewhere and never see a snake. And the minute William steps foot in, he'll find it. And does he leave it there? Oh no, he has to pick it up and play with it. <laughs> what is a skink though? A what? A skink. Oh, those little fat black lizards? Yeah, this one had a red head. Ooh. That mockingbird almost got him. As long as they stay outside, I'm good. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell and you'll see upcoming videos. Thanks everybody. More to come.